Good evening. This is Logic. This is live. And they're wired together. It's taken me fucking ages to kind of get my my head around it. Essentially, what I've decided to do is do all the major audio in live and do all the MIDI in Logic. So the first tricky thing was understanding obviously that I've got my, my bass, uh, sorry, my kick in live. Let me just turn it down so it's uh, super loud at a minute. You play it in live. Comes through in Logic. However, you got nothing there. So I thought it'd be smart, and I'm super proud of myself for being this creative. <laughs> um, I bounced down the kicks, and then I imported them into Logic and just turned them down. So basically, these kicks are doing nothing, but it represents exactly where the kicks are playing in live, when I put my usual kick markers in there, where the breakdown is. So that was the first hurdle out of the way. I had my kick playing. Yeah. I mean, I decided to kind of do a little bit of a breakdown. I put some MIDI in, did it in Logic. You can see here yeah, I've cleverly... I've been trying to organize it all night. I'm giving myself kudos here. Obviously, we've got the Logic symbols and the live symbols, so it's fairly obvious what that means, right? Um, so all the MIDI I did in, in Logic kind of came up with a little tune. Um, use the melody from a, an old remix I did, um, and then I thought, right, let's let's have a crack with with the audio, um, and it's pretty cool to be fair. There's a couple of annoying things. So, for instance, if I want to play you the drone, right, and then look at the audio in Logic in Live, sorry. Let's say we want some vocals. If you don't play, why? Because you've soloed the bass. Now, it's the way around, so you've soloed the bass. So the way around it is you need to just stereo out on. As you can hear, they all play, but that's no good to us because if we want to like hear the bass and the samples in live, it's frustrating. I have kind of figured a way around it though. What you can do is basically you can mute all the buses, which again, it's not the, the best, really, but it's, you know, it's a workaround. Okay, so it's a little crack at that. So what we'll do is we'll put it there. Hmm. You can get tricky. So I've put a loop on so I know where I am in live. Just like I'm about here. We'll get rid of that. So let's go down to this project. It's not on yet. So I know it's project this the fourth one down. So again, you've got to kind of count things. It's pretty tricky to be fair. I'm not sure if it really makes sense to do it like this, but I just wanted to show that it is possible. Uh, so. Wow, wow, wow. 
Okay, so. So, one, two, three, four. That's the channel we need. Put it on. The great thing about live and why I love it with the audio is it just resizes this stuff perfectly. Logic just doesn't do that. And when you're playing the bass, if you're playing some kind of samples over it, it just it makes it in time. And that, that alone is so cool. So, unless I'm missing something, Logic just doesn't do that. <laughs> changed yep so that's reset itself no idea why that's really frustrating i've never seen that happen before also another annoying thing is that you, you guys are kind of watching this probably thinking well this is a fucking waste of time and i'm probably thinking you're right as good as live is for what it does trying to do this it just doesn't make sense really they could have done it so much better um We'll keep going over for just for a moment. notice and every time i add something in live i kind of have to add it in in logic because i don't know where it is so that's kind of my theory around it let me just add that again because that was beautiful again <laughs> it, you should just be able to solo one thing and listen to it in live it doesn't make sense it's such a shame like i said this could have been beautiful Oh, my God. 
that's another thing as well with solo tools and none of the, the key commands work in live either so all these cool key commands i've learned like z for zoom or you know h for height they don't work i mean it's like what i'm just gonna get this in time anyways if i can and then uh i kind of wrap it up Okay, now it doesn't want to work. See what? Oh, what the fuck? I'll lay off. I don't understand why it's not coming on time. One, two, three, four. Definitely right. Anyhow, that's pretty much sums it up, really. So you can rewire Logic and Live, and it can work, but it's just so impractical, um, and it's such a shame. What a shame. Let me just try one more thing. I must admit, I've not tried this in a while, but the beauty of Live, as I see it, is what you could do is you can play things over bass lines or kicks and it, it stays in time and that might sound like a like a really small thing but it's you know it's really fucking useful <laughs> so let's mute these buses again which is stupid anyway but we'll do it so we can hear the bass only <laughs> don't want to lead either
See, that's amazing because it just puts it straight in time. If you do it with logic, I do not think it works unless they've had an, an update. I must admit, I found out some really cool things since kind of delving into live. I've managed to make logic so, so, so much better. For instance, check this bad boy out. If I open up an EQ and go to here, if I click that, ta da! How amazing is that? Or maybe I want to do this. Ta da! I can't believe it. That's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. It's finding out that logic can do that. <laughs> I have tried to stick with live enough. I've tried to build a track in it, and I will continue to build this track in it. But I just find it it's so counterproductive for me. But some beautiful parts, and one of them is that. One of the things I feck, I've got to stop trying to swear, but one of the things I really hate about live is if you zoomed in to a piano roll, say like this, let's just duplicate this. Oh, that's another thing. When you duplicate something in live, it duplicates it with the uh, region. Now, <laughs> in this case, that would have been useful, but 99% of the time, I don't want it to duplicate with a region, so that's, that's annoying as well. But say we zoomed in and uh, on here, and the zoom function is way better in the logic. There you go, that's it. Well, say I want to look at this one. It keeps the zoom in live. It'll go like from this like i don't know like that like down here i just like what that makes no sense anyway where was we at so kind of went off on a tangent there but yeah i've managed to make live logic much 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 better since exploring live and as well don't get me wrong live is amazing but i think if you never knew what you had in la in logic like i was speaking to a client today and he was like oh shit i didn't even realize about the zoom thing it wasn't a problem for him because he, he never had you know he never he's known no different but to me it's a massive problem um i always laugh like oh my god it's a massive problem of course it's like we're talking about producing there's far more <laughs> there's far more important issues going on in outside of the world however if we're talking about production that is a fucking problem for me oh another thing i might actually get logic's been a bit better if you're watching this and you're a logic user so you can press this and if you just press this you can bookmark stuff so it's not too far off uh, Ableton. Now I've saved my template so it opens up like this. So again, that's pretty cool. It saves you doing all that stupid sample digging. So again, much, much, much more like live. But here we go. If this plays in time, honestly, I will be blown away. But I know for like, I'm pretty sure it won't. But please be wrong. Please be wrong. So the good, like, let's go to 140. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not doing it along with it. And that's, that's a bit shit. It'd be easy to find out with um with a loop a bit. Why am I doing that? Press back. Either sample back. Either transcensions. I hate when there's a folder within a folder and you have to go in that second folder. I must sort that. So if we put it to like, I don't know, let's put it to 138 so we, so we know it's in time. 